So one of the questions that I get asked fairly often is how to repurpose content for social media. So on this one, I'm going to show you my top three favorite tools to repost and repurpose content for social media, but how to basically do it in a way that's roughly 95% automated. And so tool number one is a tool called Opus AI. And this is a tool that's been getting very, very popular recently. And basically what this does is it takes your long form videos. For example, if you have a podcast or other long form videos on YouTube and things like that, what you can do is take those videos, put them into Opus, and it will automatically clip those videos down and turn them into short form videos that you can use on TikTok, Instagram Reels, Twitter, whatever other short form platforms that you are using, it will automatically edit the video, it will add captions, it will add titles, it will do all of these things for you so that you literally just have to take the video and repost it onto your short form platforms. My next favorite tool is a tool called Repurpose IO. And Repurpose IO is basically going to act as a personal assistant or a VA. And it's going to take all of those videos and it's going to publish them on the short form platforms for you. So for example, if you have, you know, five or 10 or 20 short form videos and you want to post them onto all of your platforms, schedule them at the proper times and do everything like that, Repurpose is gonna do all of that for you. Another use case is if you are, you know, posting videos on TikTok and you want to remove the watermark and post it onto Instagram Reels or YouTube Shorts and things like that, Repurpose will do all of that for you so that every time you post a video on TikTok, it will automatically remove the watermark, post it on all of the other short form platforms for you. Now, if you wanna see my complete list of all my favorite automation tools, all my favorite AI tools, and all the things that I use for content creation, I'll have the link for that down in the description below. And that'll give you access to all the best, you know, deals and free trials and things like that if you wanna try some of these tools out. But let's get into the third tool on the list. And this is a platform called Captivate. Now, this is specifically for podcasters, but let's say for example, if we're using this channel as an example, I have a podcast on this channel. And basically what Captivate does is it's going to take that podcast and it's going to automatically send those to all of the associated podcast networks. So in other words, it's going to make sure that it gets onto Spotify and Google Podcasts and Apple Podcasts and all these different podcast networks. So in other words, I can basically just manage my podcast inside of this one single platform. And from there, it's going to take care of everything else on the actual podcast networks, such as, you know, Spotify and Apple and all those places. So to kind of bring it full circle, if we talk about this channel, for example, if I post a long form video podcast on this channel, what's going to happen is I'm going to first send that video into Opus. That's going to create, you know, anywhere from about 10 to 25 or 30 short form videos. I'm going to take all of those short form videos and put it into a Google Drive folder. From there, Repurpose IO is going to post those on all of the relevant uh, short form platforms such as Facebook Reels, Instagram Reels, Twitter, TikTok, all those places. And I literally don't have to do anything to post all of those videos on all of those platforms. The other thing that's going to happen is as soon as I post that long form podcast on YouTube, Repurpose is going to automatically convert that into audio. It's going to send it into Captivate and Captivate is going to make sure that that podcast gets to all of the relevant podcast networks such as Spotify, Google Podcasts and everything like that. So that's pretty much it for this one. Again, if you wanna see all of my favorite automation tools and AI tools and things like that, you can check that out in the description below. But that's it for now and I'll see you in the next one.